Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Customer States, what we have a 2015 four ring Audi A3. What are we doing today? Well, we're replacing the rear brakes. Why, you might ask? Well, let me tell you why. Let me show you why we're doing rear brakes. Let's get into it. Well, I can tell you this right now, guys. First thing that we had to do, we had to connect our scan tool because the vehicle does have an electronic parking brake and we had to put the parking brake into service mode. Now we'll be able to service the rear brakes very good. Well, all right, interesting turn of events, ladies and gentlemen. The customer opted to get both calipers and not just one for the rear. So, now that we have the parking brake motor, because it's electric, it's motor, boogie doogie doogie, uh, we have that off the caliper and we have to transfer it over onto the new caliper. Now, the, now, the new caliper comes with a brand new O-ring right here. Actually, I can show you how that, that comes. This is the other side. But you get a brand new O-ring and you get brand new hardware to mount the motor very good so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a little bit of lubrication a little bit of grease on that o-ring we're gonna install the motor and we're gonna continue to service the rear brakes very good all right so in theory it should just as long as the teeth line up it should just drop on in very good yeah not bad all right it's one thing that's going right so far very good. Now let's look up the torque spec. Well, all data don't got the spec for these, so we're just going to put some German torque on it. Very good. So here we are at the driver's side rear wheel. We have the rotor off. We got the electronic parking brake motor off the caliper. Now, a tip I could give you guys. I know a lot of people don't like to do this, but I for one have do it every brake job. And uh, I recommend it, but don't use a lot. I put a little bit of high temp NICs between the hub and the rotor. And for the screw that holds the hub, excuse me, for the screw that holds the rotor to the hub, I put a little bit in there as well. Because I've had on numerous of vehicles where that screw right there either breaks or it strips because some Goomba over tightened it. So yeah, don't screw the next guy. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, the driver's side is all on. We have our connector right here that is connected. We also checked the pins in the connector for corrosion and we did not find any, which is very good. Our brake line is connected, very good. Hardware is in place. We got the Gugats rotor that went metal to metal on both, side, both sides. Now the passenger side. It's looking beautiful. Line is in. Connector, oh, look at that. Connector's not connected. Almost made a Goomba move. Come on, connect. Let's see. Are you gonna, there we go. And you wanna hear that click. Very good. So now, now, we gotta do a bleed procedure. And then uh, we have to get the scan tool back out and uh, take this out of service mode. Then, put the wheels on and go for a road test. Very good. Alright, so we got our scan tool hooked back up to the vehicle. There is a parking brake warning in the cluster, which we know it should be there. So we're going to hit scanner. Audi, US vehicle. It is a 2015 automatic ID. Yada, yada, yada. Very good. Yep. All right. Brake electronics. Continue. Communicate. All right. We're going to go to function tests. Special functions. It's not there. We're going to scroll down one. Rear brake pad replacement procedure. I'm going to click on that, continue, 
open calipers for pad replacement that was what we clicked before close calipers after pad replacement and now it's bringing in the calipers or at least the motor very good it passed now after always doing that now after putting the vehicle out of maintenance mode you exit the brake ECU okay exit 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 home very good I'll shut the key off I'll disconnect the scanner I'll turn the key on and what we'll do is we'll activate the e-brake or excuse me parking brake we know it's holding no warning light now we push on the brake release very good now guys what Audi brake job would it be without some minor Shrek piss we got some minor Shrek piss coming out the rear wait a minute it's not supposed to come out the rear it's supposed to come out the front well either way this car is getting some new brake fluid so now once this is done we're going to go on our maiden voyage road test and burn these brakes in and return the vehicle back to the customer in better condition than it arrived in we're also going to top off the washer fluid if you guys don't know what to do yet please like subscribe hit that bell notification for further content